Hey, hi, welcome. Uh, I am uh, Maart Hartemink, for some that uh, might, don't might know me. Um, today I will talk about uh, the field of social content retrieval. I found this an uh, interesting uh, part in the field of uh, multimedia retrieval. As we all know, uh, the amount of multimedia and other types of content on the web is uh, growing uh, rapidly and also uh, the importance of social networks on uh, the internet is uh, yeah, gaining more and more uh, people that are joining uh, social networks. And I was interested in how these uh, social networks and their user uh, relations can improve um, yeah, the retrieval of that uh, multimedia. Um, first, I will uh, talk about the types of connections that can be leveraged to uh, improve those uh, search results. Um, I identified uh, three interesting approaches where these user relations and the knowledge contained in communities uh, is used uh, for improval. And then I will tell you my conclusions and uh, there is time for questions. Okay, first of all I found that uh, basically uh, there are four general types of uh, relations that can be, uh, can be leveraged. Uh, the first uh, are explicit uh, connections, they can be both directional or indirectional. Uh, the first one you can think of direct uh, connections between uh, friends. So for example if someone has uh, a Facebook profile then of course they have a lot of, a lot of friends uh, on that. So the links between those users are uh, explicit direct connections. Uh, there are also explicit indirect connections. Uh, so for example somebody can put a link to content they like. Um, large uh, web search engines like Google uh, are using extensively that uh, explicit indirect connections. Also uh, yeah, the hyperlink uh, based uh, ranking techniques are used there. Um, the third one is the implicit direct connections. These are connections that are derived from uh, textual information. For example, uh, co-authorship of uh, users in uh, scientific research work. Uh, and finally, uh, the implicit indirect connections. These are connections that are derived on the basis of, uh, yeah, of similar content. Uh, and yeah, you can think of uh, users uploading a similar kind of uh, media that uh, yeah, can identify uh, uh, a shared interest. Uh, the approaches I will discuss next uh, are all leveraging one or more of the types of uh, <coughs> Uh, connections or can use uh, combinations. The uh, first uh, approach I found uh, are the well known tech based approaches. Um, yeah, a lot of media is, uh, is tech uh, nowadays. Um, in the example uh, I studied, uh, this is uh, used uh, to uh, find pictures that uh, represent important locations and or landmarks. Um, uh, based on uh, these tags and uh, visual features, the uh, uh, images can be clustered in accordance to their uh, importance. But the nice thing here is that also um, the uh, clusters can be re-ranked uh, on the basis of, for example, how many different users have uh, use similar text for similar visually uh, content and uh, yeah, this might improve, uh, for example, which viewing points are apparently very important uh, for uh, the users. Uh, there are also uh, some advantages and disadvantages on tech-based uh, approaches. Um, yeah, they exploit the implicit directions of co connections in uh, the social community uh, quite well. Uh, part of the work is done by the community itself by applying uh, text uh, to the content. And yeah, the types of uh, media that can be text are quite diverse. Uh, however, there are also a lot of downsides. Uh, users need to supply uh, those texts, which they often don't do. Uh, there might is also content uh, that doesn't have text that is missed or yeah somehow is not retrieved. Um, there are a lot of synonyms, uh, anonyms, and yeah, you, people can use plural uh, forms or singular forms uh, for the text, etc. Uh, 
most important uh, drawback, however, is that those techniques uh, actually need yeah, a sufficient amount of correctly uh, tagged items. So uh, this type of approach is actually, I think, uh, most useful only in large communities where there are sufficient amount of uh, tagged items available. A second uh, interesting approach is uh, collaborative uh, web search or network-based uh, web search. The idea uh, behind this uh, is quite simple and uh, clever. Um, within the community, you can record all downloading and viewing of sites that are users uh, visiting or downloading. And if a user now submits a query, you can uh, compare this query both you can pass it to a large search engine like Google, and you can compare it with links that are indexed and stored inside that community-based, uh, um, how do I say? Uh, yeah, community-based uh, downloaded and visited uh, web pages. Uh, this offers uh, quite a list of advantages. Uh, the results can be combined with both uh, generally uh, interesting results, or that are by the whole population of the whole web are considered to be relevant, but uh, also uh, 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 content that is considered by the community uh, is presented. So, um, furthermore, uh, this approach makes it possible to retrieve uh, local, very new and poorly linked information. Large uh, search engines are using uh, hyperlinks between uh, documents and media to identify uh, which, uh, which is apparently relevant. And if you store just all history or source history from the users in the community, uh, yeah, that linking isn't necessary anymore. Um, most uh, important uh, drawbacks, of course, privacy, because uh, people, uh, yeah, might not be happy with uh, the fact that uh, their searching and downloading and visiting of web pages or content uh, is uh, tracked. So uh, anony anonymity uh, must be guaranteed. And even then, people might not like the idea that yeah, their searching behavior is, uh, is followed. And, uh, but I think that that can be overcome and that people are getting more used to that fact because now also uh, search engines are keeping track of things and you have the options like don't follow me in uh, your internet browser. Um, furthermore, there are many, many combinations possible for yeah, how to rank uh, the items. Should that be done on uh, the popularity of uh, content? So how many times is this visited by other authors in, uh, or other users in the community? Um, but also how do we display the results? Do we add them on top of the general search result, uh, do we highlight the items, uh, etc. And also, it is, can be a start to the personalized uh, web search by only taking into account, for example, the results that a direct uh, friends in your network uh, has uh, visited. A third uh, intuitive approach I found, and I think is quite interesting, is uh, part of uh, network analysis, uh, so-called uh, expert finding. Uh, yeah, you can imagine what do you do if you have a question about something or you want to have something that you don't have, yes, you seek a friend or someone that has expertise on that or does have the required information. Um, how can uh, we do that? Um, first of all, uh, there is an approach that says that uh, per user you can create a local uh, information profile containing contact information of that person. Uh, what content uh, he has uh, uploaded, etc. Um, furthermore, uh, you can identify various types of uh, relations uh, in the network. And the idea behind this method is that uh, if a user uh, submits a query, for every person in the network, uh, uh, an initial expert score uh, is calculated based on uh, the content that that a uh, user has in, uh, in the community and how well that expertise is propagated uh, along the network. 
uh, this method uh, makes it also possible to retrieve uh, local or specialized and poorly linked uh, content. Um, the approach that uh, I've uh, studied is uh, well suited uh, for documents and textual information since the query can be relatively easily uh, matched with relative content uh, of the documents. Uh, however, um, the amount of content in uh, local uh, profiles of the persons are very important because if there isn't any or we cannot match uh, the, the query to the content, then we have a problem. So for other types of media that can be a real hard problem, for example images, video, audio, etc. Uh, and also how to define the uh, propagation uh, coefficients that are uh, explaining how well someone's expertise on a certain topic is uh, transferred. Um, conclusions. Uh, I found that uh, social uh, communities and user connections can be uh, well leveraged in uh, content retrieval, uh, especially for re-ranking of, uh, of search results. Um, it has high potential, but uh, yeah, as I said, uh, the user relations are only part of the whole retrieval problem because the normal retrieval problems are still there. So they need to be uh, combined for those systems to really improve the, yeah, the quality of uh, experience that a user might experience. Now we come back to uh, triple synergy, as also uh, referred to by, uh, by Jesse. Um, I foresee that, uh, or agree with the fact that uh, this will be a, a promising and uh, very challenging direction for the future. Okay, it was a bit uh, messy, I think, but I would like to thank you uh, for your attention and uh, would like to give you the opportunity for questions. <laughs> thank you.